वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकुम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय आयशा नायाब फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर से इज यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी इज इनएविटेबल टू इम्प्रूव द टेक्सेशन सिस्टम Health minister says the government will revamp 500 basic health units across the country. Repatriation of illegal foreign nationals including Afghans to their homeland is continuing. 30 more Palestinians have been martyred in fresh Israeli air strikes in Gaza's Jabalia's refugee camp. And now the news in detail. Caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar has directed the authorities to formulate and present a comprehensive strategy based on input from all the stakeholders with a view to improve the performance of the Federal Board of Revenue. He was chairing a meeting on improving the performance of Federal Board of Revenue in Islamabad. Prime Minister said utilization of modern technology is inevitable to improve the taxation system. He said revenue collection is just like a backbone for the national economy. Prime Minister said various effective measures had been taken recently to curb smuggling though it required more hard work to achieve the desired results. Caretaker Minister for Information and Broadcasting Murtaza Sulangi says we are in contact with the Election Commission of Pakistan and will facilitate it in every possible manner for the conduct of free, fair and transparent elections in the country. In an interview he said the general elections will be held on 8th February next year. Minister for National Health Services Dr Nadeem Jaan has said 500 basic health units will be revamped across the country in 2 months. Addressing an event on the occasion of World Diabetes Day in Islamabad today, he said this will be done without incurring a single penny from the government institute. He said it will also be ensured to spread awareness about prevention of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes. He stressed that every segment of the society including the media and religious scholars will have played their part in it. Repatriation of illegal foreign nationals including Afghans to their homeland is continuing. Thousands of Afghan nationals are returning to Afghanistan via Torkham and Chaman border on daily basis. Apart from their measures for the dignified return to Afghans to their country, transit camps equipped with all facilities have been established in various districts of the temporary accommodation. 3239 illegal Afghan nationals returned to their country yesterday. The Senate met briefly at the Parliament House in Islamabad today with Deputy Chairman Mirza Muhammad Afridi in the chair. At the outset, lack of quorum was pointed out on counting. The House was not found in order and the chair adjourned the proceedings till Friday at 10.30 a.m. All Party Suryat Conference says violation of Kashmiri's basic human rights has exposed India's claim to be the largest democracy as it has converted entire occupied Jammu and Kashmir into the world's biggest open air jail. In statements in Srinagar, APHC leaders said Kashmiris are determined to spearhead their liberation cause against all odds. They condemned the brutalities on civilians during so-called search and operation and urged the world to break its silence and take notice of the Indian state terrorism. More than 30 Palestinians have been martyred in Gaza's Jabalia refugee camp after Israeli airstrikes hit at least 12 homes. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees said in a statement that operations will be stopped if fuel is not allowed into the besieged enclave today. The World Health Organization has warned that Gaza's biggest hospital, Al Shifa, is nearly a cemetery with bodies piling up inside and outside. In a statement, a UN spokesperson said dozens of premature babies and 45 kidney patients needing dialysis can't be treated properly due to lack of power. The health ministry in Gaza said more than 11,200 people have been martyred in Gaza, including more than 4,500 were children. Dozens of illegal migrants, mostly from the Horn of Africa, have been missing as their boat capsized off the coast of Yemen. A Yemeni coast guard in Mocha said that the boat with 75 migrants on board capsized and 26 people were rescued and at least 49 others are still missing. 
First semi-final of the ICC Cricket World Cup will be played between India and New Zealand at Mumbai tomorrow. While in the second semi-final, Australia will take on South Africa at Kolkata on Thursday. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.